I'm in a field. Mm-hmm. In a field. A lot of flowers. Lots of flowers. Describe these flowers for me. What do they look like? Very brightly colored. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place. Pink and orange. Pink and orange. Mm -hmm. Trees around the outside. Mm -hmm. As you look at this place, does it have a path or any place to walk? No. No. I'm just in the middle of the field. In the middle of the field. As you look around this field, do you feel that you have a body in this place? Hmm. Focus on the observer. Does this observer have a body? Or does this observer hmm. part of this scenery? What does it feel like to you? I think I'm young, young girl. A young girl. Very good. So look down at your feet. What do your feet look like? Sandals on. Mm-hmm. A dress on. A dress. Mm-hmm. What do you look like? I have blonde hair. Mm-hmm. It's long with bangs. Mm-hmm. Do you, are you carrying anything or is there anything in your hands? No. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you're doing amongst these flowers today. Allow me to tag along as you enjoy this area. Tell me what you see and feel. Okay. I'd just like to be here. Mm -hmm. and look at the flowers. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Enjoy it and absorb the feeling. So where do you go to next? There's a cabin behind me. Mm -hmm, the cabin behind me. Describe that cabin. What does it look like? It's a log cabin. Mm -hmm. It has big windows. It looks over the field. Mm -hmm. Whose cabin is this? I live there. I live there. Very good. So let's go to that cabin and let's go inside and see what it looks like inside. It's a big fireplace. Mm -hmm. A big fireplace. What else do you see? It's open to the second floor. Mm -hmm. There's a railing up there. You can go up and look down. Mm -hmm. What's up there? There's a bed up there. Mm -hmm. Who sleeps in that bed? I do. Mm -hmm. So tell me what, what else is up there besides the bed? Books. Mm -hmm. Do you like books? Mm -hmm. What are these books? What are they about? They're just fiction books. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy reading these books? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to read. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Maybe seven. Mm -hmm. Eight. Seven or eight. And what do they call you? What's your name? I think it's Elsie. Elsie. When I say the name Elsie, does that resonate with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Elsie, who do you live with in that log cabin? My mom. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to close that scene and open it up at a time when you're having a meal with your family. Be there now and describe what you see. It's just me and my mom. We're in the kitchen. 
What are you eating there? It's soup. Mm -hmm. Or stew. Mm -hmm. What does your mom look like? She has on an apron. Mm -hmm. Like an old fashioned apron like women used to wear. Mm -hmm. How long is her dress? To her knees. To her knees. Very good. Can you see your mom's eyes? She looks like my mom. Mm -hmm. Look into her eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul, and you'll recognize her. Do you recognize her? I think it's my mom. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So let's find a little bit more about your life, Elsie. I'd like for you to close that scene and now move to a time in your lifetime, in that same lifetime, when something very important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Getting married. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Where are you? We're in a church. Mm hmm. Who's there with you? Mm -hmm. Not that many people. Mm hmm. Look around. Who's there? I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. My husband. Mm -hmm. I don't see my mom. Look into your husband's eyes. Do you recognize him? No. No. So let's find out, Elsie, why you are marrying there without your family. Why is your family not there? I don't have any family. Mm -hmm. What happened to your mom? She died. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about this marriage? I'm happy. You're happy. Very good. So let's now go to the next important scene of that lifetime. See yourself there now. What's happening there? I'm in bed. I'm in bed. How old are you, Lelsie? Seven. Nine, seventy-eight. Mm-hmm. Why are you in bed? I'm dying. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling as you're lying there in bed? I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. What's happened to make you make you sad? I'm lonely. Mm-hmm. What happened to your husband? He's not there. Mm hmm So let's find out what happened to you. Just make you so lonely, Elsie. Go back in time and let's find out what happened. What was the cause of this loneliness? Be there now. Where are you? I'm in my cabin, mm -hmm. but I'm by myself. 
my mom is not there. How old are you there? 30. Mm -hmm. What's the reason for you being back in that cabin? Do you live there? It's mine mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Well, see, how it is, how is it that you make a living? I write. You write. What is it that you write? Fiction. Mm -hmm. What do you write about? Stories that are hard to believe they're true. Mm hmm But people like them. Mm hmm They're hard to believe they're mm -hmm. true? Yes. What kind of things are you writing about? The monsters. The monsters. Tell me about these monsters that you write about. They're like Bigfoot people. Mm hmm Do you know them? They have families. Mm-hmm. And I don't know them, I just write about them. Mm-hmm. Do can do, do they connect with you, Elsie? Do they speak with you in your mm -hmm. mind? How do you know about their families? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But I do. I make up a lot of stories about them. Mm -hmm. Are these good stories? Or are they yeah. scary stories? No, no, they're good stories. Mm -hmm. Just like real families, but they're not human. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what it is that you're doing today in that cabin. What's caused the loneliness? What happened? My mom is gone. Mm -hmm. There's nobody around. Mm -hmm. I'm just by myself. So what do you do next? I don't know what to do with myself. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should write another book. Mm -hmm. So fast forward a little bit and let's see what you do. What do you end up doing? Go outside. Mm -hmm. Go to the field. What's in the field, Elsie? It's those pretty flowers. Mm -hmm. I like to be there. Does that field give you any inspiration? It just calms me down. Calms you. Very good. So, Elsie, let's close that scene. And now let's continue on your path to see what happens with your career. I'm still a writer. Mm -hmm. How many books have you written? A lot. I have a series. Mm -hmm. What is this series about? It's all about the Bigfoot people. Mm -hmm. Their lives and their families. They're so human. Mm -hmm. Let's find out, Elsie, if you've ever met any of these Bigfoot people in that lifetime. I want you to go deeper and deeper. And let's go to a time when the first encounter happened. Mm -hmm. I used to play with them. Mm -hmm. You used to play with them. How old were you there when you were playing with them? I was 11. 
It's three or four. Three or four. And tell me how you met your first Bigfoot person. Mm -hmm. Playing hide and seek. Mm -hmm. And we became friends. Mm -hmm. How old was the one that you were playing with? Little. Little, like mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who would hide? We both would. Mm -hmm. We'd run around the woods. How did you communicate? Hmm. Must have been mentally because we didn't have we didn't use words. Mm -hmm. Did your friend have a name? I don't know if it's right. It sounds like Bamba. B A M B. -A. Bamba? Is Bamba a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Mm hmm So as you got older, what happened with Bamba? We didn't talk anymore. We didn't play anymore. What happened? I think I was told it wasn't right. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody believed me. The Palma was real. So I stopped seeing him. I'd like to go for you to go deep into your subconscious mind and let's find out if Bamba continued to connect with you telepathically. I'm going to count from three to one and you will know the answer. Three, two, and one. Yes. Mm hmm What was Bamba telling you? What was happening in his life? Mm hmm I missed him. What was he telling you about? His family and what he was doing every day. He was starting his own family. Mm -hmm. How many children did he have? Two or three. Mm -hmm. Did Bamba ever visit you in your dreams or anywhere else? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. He just connected with you telepathically? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you got older and you lost your mother, why did the loneliness set in? There's nobody else around. Mm -hmm. Was Bamba there for you? No. So let's find out what happened to Bamba. Did he continue to connect with you? Um, he was killed. He was killed. How was he killed? He was shot. Mm -hmm. Who By shot him? A man. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Very sad. Mm -hmm. How old were you when that happened? Twenties, maybe. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Elsie, let's leave that scene now, and now let's go to another important scene in your lifetime that impacted you. Be there now. <coughs> Where are you? I'm at the publishing company. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? My books are very popular. We're working out a deal. What year is this, Elsie? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, early 1900s. Mm -hmm. 
Everything looks old fashioned. Mm -hmm. You'll know the date. Three, two, and one. 1936? Mm-hmm. 30s. So what deal did you get, Elsie? They want me to keep writing books. Mm -hmm. Elsie, what country are you in? I'm in the west of the, the U.S. Mm -hmm. What state are you in? Colorado. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? I get my deal and I just go back to my cabin. Mm -hmm. Are you married there, Elsie? No, it's right before that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else important from that scene? No. All right. So let's close that scene. And now let's go much farther into your life and see what's happening, Elsie. I'm old. Mm-hmm. Still at my cabin. What's happened to your husband? I don't know if he died or if he just left. Mm hmm. What does it feel? Feel it in your heart. He died. Mm hmm. So what's important about this scene, Elsie? I've had enough. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. All right. So go ahead and take your last breath. Transition out of that body and tell me how it feels to leave that body behind. I'm free. Mm -hmm. What do you see as you leave that body? I see the body below me. And I'm going up. Mm -hmm. And as you're going up, Elsie, I want you to think back at that lifetime. Every lifetime has a purpose and lessons. What was the purpose of that lifetime? To understand loneliness, mm -hmm. being alone. Do you feel you learned the lesson? I feel like I experienced the loneliness. Mm -hmm. What but less? I, mm -hmm. I don't know what I learned from mm -hmm. it. Very good. So let's continue on your journey. What happens to your soul as you go up? Mm. Feels so much lighter. Mm -hmm. Does anyone meet you there? No, just floating. Mm -hmm. What happens next? There's somebody there. Mm -hmm. Welcoming me back. Mm -hmm. Who is this that's welcoming you back? His name is Joseph. Mm -hmm. Who is Joseph? Looks like... I don't know if he's my guide or... He helps me somehow. Mm -hmm. Just like you did with Bamba, you can connect with him mind to mind, soul to soul. Ask him who he is. He says he's part of the Oversoul. Mm -hmm. He's part of the Oversoul. He's part of a group that... 
I don't see anybody else, but he helps me and others. Mm -hmm. So does Joseph take you anywhere? Do you go any place after you arrive? He's just talking. Mm -hmm. Tell me what he's saying. He's, he's asking me about the life. He's happy to see me. I tell him I didn't really like that life. Mm -hmm. And he says we can try again. Mm -hmm. What are you trying for in a, in a lifetime? Supposed to learn something from the experience of being alone. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't get it. I just tell him I don't like that. Mm -hmm. He says, I know. Where do you go to next? I'm supposed to learn compassion. Mm -hmm. Does Joseph take you anywhere? No. We're just standing there, still talking. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happens. I want to experience the loneliness so I have compassion for mm -hmm. other people mm -hmm. and their loneliness and understand their emotions better. Mm -hmm. Okay. I tell them I got it now. Mm -hmm. I want to do something different. So let's see what happens next. I'm on a ship. On a ship. Mm -hmm. Like a... Like a pirate ship, a sailboat that's in very rough waters. It's old and wooden. Do you feel that you have a body there? I don't see one. Mm -hmm. So let's find out yeah. about this ship. Tell me more about this scene. I'm hanging <coughs> onto the side. I like the wind. Mm -hmm. It's fun. But the ship itself doesn't feel like it has good people on it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be near these people. Are you male or female? What do you feel? I have to say male. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? My 20s. Mm -hmm. So you say that you don't like these people on this ship? No. Do you feel that you're different from them? Mm -hmm. In what way? They're, they're mean. Mm -hmm. They're like pirates. They steal from people. I don't like it. I think it's wrong. I don't want to hurt people. So I don't really get along with the rest of them. So what are you doing on the ship with them? How did you get there? I've been there for a few years. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I started, how I got there though. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go back in time then. Close that scene and allow yourself to drift and float back in time before you were on that ship. And let's find out about your family life. We had a farm. Mm -hmm. I didn't like working the farm. Being on the ship seemed like it would be fun. I kind of ran away mm -hmm. from my family. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? Now I live on the ship. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. We're by a port. But 
but we have a farm, so it takes a little bit to get to the port. The farming is so boring. I meet a guy that's from the ship. How do you meet this man? I was in town. He tells me about it. Makes it sound like it's really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So I went with him. But it wasn't what I thought it would be. What do you do on that ship? There's nothing to do. They just rob people. How do they rob people? What do they do? How do they trick them into being robbed? I don't think they trick them. I think they just attack them. Mm. What role do you play in all of this? <laughs> I'm the wimpy one because I won't hurt anyone. And so they don't like me very much. What do you do while people are being robbed? I just... I won't participate. And I just watch. It makes me feel bad because I need to help these people and I can't. Mm -hmm. Are any of these people taken prisoner ever? They're killed. They're killed. How does that make you feel? Very sad. Mm -hmm. So guilty. They kill everyone. And they take their... Their stuff. Their... Anything they can. Mm -hmm. What do they do with all of that? It's on the ship. I think they sell it when we go to other ports. Mm -hmm. When you go to the ports, do you say you're pirates? No, but I think people know. Mm -hmm. Everyone's afraid. What do they call you? in that lifetime. What name do you go by? I think I'm James. Mm -hmm. When I say the name James, does that resonate with you? Yeah, I'm James. Mm -hmm. So James, let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to a next scene in that life that impacts your life. It changes it. Be there now. They're attacking me. Mm -hmm. They kill me. All right, so now, James, I'd like for you to transition out of that body. And look back at that body and tell me what has happened. I wasn't one of them. Mm hmm killed me and threw me overboard. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't participate. How does it feel now to be out of that body? I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. So where do you go to? Where does your soul go to? I'm just in the ocean right now. Trying to shake it off. Mm -hmm. Does anybody help you? No, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. But I haven't left my body yet. Mm -hmm. Being in the water is better than being on that ship. What happens next, James? Where does your soul go? I'm going back up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I 
Who's that man again? Mm-hmm. Is this Joseph? Yes, it's the same guy. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you this time? He's laughing because I told him I didn't like that one either. Mm-hmm. And then we need to pick a better one. What does he say? <laughs> he says, you gotta learn. And I don't want to learn that way. You are meant to learn compassion through loneliness. Mm -hmm. It seems to me you were very lonely on that ship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think I had compassion. Mm -hmm. For all the people that were mistreated, murdered, mm -hmm. stolen from. I, I wouldn't be a pirate. Mm -hmm. So I didn't live very long. How old were you when you transitioned out of that body? I think I'm 28. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens now. What does Joseph tell you or what happens to your soul? I'm in a room with other people like Joseph. Mm -hmm. How many are there? Five. Mm -hmm. It's like a council. Mm -hmm. They don't know what to do with me. Why is that? Pretty outspoken about not liking these lives that I have to go through. I don't want to. Why do you have to go through these lives? They're trying to teach me. I'm arguing. I don't want to be taught that way. Why do you have to learn this compassion? It's one of the steps. To what? One of the steps of... I don't have the right words to becoming a whole person. It's one of the, just one of the lessons. Mm -hmm. But they've... I have the compassion now. Mm -hmm. so I can do something different. So do they decide the life for you, or do you decide? They talk me into it. Mm -hmm. What's the next life they talk you into? Can't be right. I think I'm a flapper girl. Mm-hmm. Be there now, and tell me where you are. I'm in a bar. Oh, jeez. How were you dressed? I had a funny hat and a, a dress that has, like, sequins and it's loose. Mm-hmm. Look like a flapper girl. What are you doing in that bar? I'm dancing. Mm hmm Are you visiting the bar or do you work there? No, I work there. Mm hmm Tell me more. I don't like being there. The people all smell. They drink so heavy. They smoke. But I make good money there. Mm -hmm. And I have fun. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I think I'm about 30. Mm -hmm. Are you married? No. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? 
Sheila. Mm-hmm. Is that your real name? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I think that's just what they call me. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell them my real name. It's close, though. What's the purpose of keeping them from knowing your real name? Nobody knows who I am, Mm -hmm. but I don't know why I can't, but I need to keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. So let's find out who you really are. I'd like for you to close that scene and go back in time to when you were living with your family or living when you were younger. Be there now. Where are you? Hmm. What do you see? Wood paneled walls. Mm-hmm. Wood paneled walls. Very old furniture. I don't see people. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's the family home. Mm-hmm. What class of society would you imagine this home to be? Lower. A lower. Mm-hmm. We don't have money. So allow yourself to be with your family, and let's see what your Mm. family life is like. I have a little brother. Mm -hmm. Who else do you live with? My mom and my dad. Mm -hmm. And how do they make a living? I don't think my mom works. Mm-hmm. My, my dad, I think he works in a factory of some sort. Mm-hmm. What does your mother call you? Angel. Angel. But Is- that's not my name. Mm-hmm. That's just what she calls me. Mm-hmm. What is your real name? I think it's a Alana, Elena. Mm-hmm. Elena, does that sound right? No. Sounds like that though. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's find out what made you leave home and become a flapper. I'd like for you now to close that scene and open the scene where you're impacted. Mm. I was married to an abusive man Mm -hmm. and I ran. So I wanted my identity to remain secret. Mm -hmm. What was happening with this man? He beat me. Mm-hmm. I want you to hone in on this abusive man. He's like a like a mobster. Mm-hmm. So I think he could get me. He mm-hmm. could find me. Mm-hmm. And he would kill me. What city are you in? Chicago. Mm-hmm. I want you to Feel this man out, soul to soul, and see if you recognize him in the life of Sherry. Does does he feel familiar? No. No, very good. So let's continue and see what happens next after you run from home. Where do you go? Get on a train. I didn't really have a destination in mind, but I was on a train. 
stopped at a town and I became Sheila. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd be safe there. What did you do there as Sheila? I was a dancer. I was looking for work. And that's all I could find. Mm -hmm. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go ahead to another important scene in that same lifetime. Where are you? I've gotten married. I have a husband. But he doesn't know everything about me. Mm -hmm. Do you keep your other life a secret? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't want my husband, my first husband, to find him mm -hmm. and hurt him. All right. So tell me what happens. We're happy. Mm -hmm. He's a nice man. What does he do for a living? He dresses in his suit. Mm -hmm. He sells something. Mm -hmm. Do you continue to dance as Sheila? No. No. He helped me to get away from that. Mm -hmm. So what do you do now? I don't work. I just spend time with him. And I'm home. How does that feel? It's okay. It's a little lonely because he's at work all day. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's close that scene and let's go to another important scene that defines that lifetime. What happens? Where are you? I'm back with Joseph. Mm. What happened to you? I died. Mm -hmm. Just of old age. Mm -hmm. Not... nothing bad. Okay. So what happens as you meet Joseph? I was supposed to learn to be authentic. Mm. I didn't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You hid mm -hmm. behind a different name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is Joseph telling you? Shakes his head. Mm -hmm. Got to do it again. How does that make you feel? Disheartened. Mm -hmm. Where would you rather be? <gasps> I want to skip these lessons. I just want to be free and happy. I don't feel like a very good student. Mm -hmm. Do you choose to be a student? Mm. I think I'm supposed to be a student, mm -hmm. but it's not what I'm cut out for. So let's continue looking and seeing what we find next. What happens after you meet with Joseph? I get to choose hmm. which life. What, li what lives are you presented with to choose from? I can't see them exactly. I see. How do they feel? Paths. Mm hmm. How do these paths feel? There's two very dark ones. Mm hmm. The light one in the middle. It's the one I think I'm going to go with. Mm -hmm. mm. It's the one I go with. All right. How do you go into that path? I'm just there. Mm -hmm. You make the decision and mm -hmm. you're there? Mm -hmm. I'm just there. I'm, so, I'm a professor. Professor. I'm teaching people. Mm -hmm. I'm a guy. 
How old are you there? I'm in my 50s. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're teaching? History. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. Mm -hmm. I help my students discover who they are. Mm -hmm. History is just something I do there. Mm -hmm. But that's not really why I'm there. What is the reason why you're there? I help people. I help the kids. Mm -hmm. I help them choose their path. I'm very compassionate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm authentic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else is important about this lifetime? I like it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm finally doing something I like to do. Mm -hmm. What year is it? It's in the... Sixties, mm -hmm. maybe? Fifties? Mm -hmm. What city are you in? Hmm. I don't know. I could see the college, though. I work in a college. Mm -hmm. Alabama comes to mind, but mm -hmm. I don't know if it's. It doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. I don't know where in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's fast forward, go through that life very quickly, mm -hmm. as if it were a film, mm -hmm. and tell me if there's anything important from that lifetime that jumps out at you. No. Very good. So go now through your transition, mm -hmm. and let's meet Joseph once again. He's proud of me this time, mm -hmm. and I'm happy. I feel like I finally did it. So I'd like for you now to meet with your counsel to discuss the life that you'll be entering into as Sherry. Be there now. It's a culmination. Mm -hmm. All the things that I've learned I'm supposed to apply in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So that's the purpose of this lifetime? I'm still supposed to help people. Mm -hmm. Are there any skills or talents that you'll be bringing from this culmination of lives? Strong sense of compassion. Mm -hmm. Being pretty transparent with people seems to be the the way to go. What I've learned is the best approach. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do they give you any advice? <laughs> Watch my attitude. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I'm sassy. Mm -hmm. So is, in, is there anything that you should be doing as in the life of Sherry? Is there any special mission that you'll be sent to do? Always to help. Mm -hmm. Always to help people. In any way? Any way I can. Mm -hmm. Carry the light. Be strong. Very good. So now let's just take a deep breath in and let's bring in your higher self, that voice within that has all of the answers to all of your questions. Do I have permission to ask questions today? You do. Thank you. What is the reason that Sherry is in this lifetime? We heard from our counsel. Yes. She needs to help other people. Mm -hmm. Continue with the compassion. Mm -hmm. Now, you showed her many different lifetimes today. Mm -hmm. The one of the writer. 
of the Sasquatch books? Mm -hmm. Why did you show her that life? It wasn't as bad as she thought. Mm -hmm. She loved nature. She loved those fields, the cabin that she lived in. And she was able to connect with them without words. Mm -hmm. Does she still have that communication with the Sasquatch? No. No. She doesn't need it anymore. She doesn't need it. Very good. What part of the world was she living in? during that lifetime? Would have been the northwest mm. of the United States. Northwest. And what year was that in? Mm. Was it early 1900s? Mm -hmm. Very good. And then you showed her the life of a man on a pirate ship. Yes. Why did you show him that life? That was about not going along with the crowd. Mm -hmm. It's important to hold true to your own values. And in that life he did. Mm -hmm. He was thrown overboard for not complying. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was worth it. What about the life of the flapper? Authenticity. Mm -hmm. You have to be yourself. Do you feel that she mm -hmm. was in that lifetime? No. She ran, never acknowledged who she truly was, even with her husband. Mm. She just kept up the facade. She did. Mm. She was supposed to learn to be authentic, to let those walls down and open up. Mm -hmm. And she was afraid to. And what about the life of the professor? That was a good life. That was helping people, compassion, a lot of compassion for the kids, mm -hmm. for the young people. Help to guide them. Was that life the one previous to this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it seems that her guide and counsel were very happy with her. Yes. So, what is it that she's supposed to be doing in this lifetime? Why is she here? It has to do with the changes. <clears throat> the changes. Can you tell me about the changes. The changes are coming. She understands both worlds. She understands the people in this world and what they need. How to calm them down and direct them. Give them direction or provide a direction mm -hmm. that they can choose to take if they want. But she understands the other world and she, she can help people when the time comes to make the transition how to help them understand what they need to do for the new world. Mm -hmm. Is that what she's waiting for? Yes. Mm -hmm. She says she feels like she's waiting for something, yes. for her role to become active. Yes. She's sort of practicing now, but mm -hmm. it's going to happen soon. It's mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. She's just practicing while she's waiting. And she has a lot of questions about the earth and the changes. Yes. Are you able to give her some of that information today? Maybe. Mm -hmm. She has questions, for example, about the monetary system. If it's going mm -hmm. to go away. It is. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be a replacement? No. No. We don't need it. Don't need it. Is it going to be 
Is there going to be a period of devastation on the earth? Will she be experiencing something like that? There's going to be a period of devastation for some. For some. But she will know how to avoid it. Mm -hmm. And she will avoid it. Mm -hmm. There may be some discomfort, but... She has very strong intuition. Mm -hmm. And she'll know. She'll know before it happens. Mm -hmm. She'll be in a safe place. Good. Is this coming from her guides that are going to be telling her where to be safe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to worry or prepare for anything now? Not to worry. Mm -hmm. It's good to prepare, but she doesn't have to worry. Mm -hmm. In what way can you prepare for something like this that you don't even know what's coming? It's more mental. Mm -hmm. Be in a state of acceptance. So whatever happens? It just happens, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't stress about it. So, for example, there are times we have snowstorms. Mm -hmm. You just need to be prepared yeah. and ride it out. Correct. The snow does melt. Eventually it's all fine. Mm -hmm. You just need to have some things to get you through that period. Mm -hmm. But look at it as an adventure. It's fun. You like, get to do something different for like, a little bit. Like a big vacation or yes, camping trip? a camping trip. <laughs> it's an adventure. Does this new earth already exist? It does. Are there some people already on it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Those people need to help the people on this earth. Mm -hmm. They need to guide us to help the people here move forward. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you're on the new earth? You're happy? Yes, very happy. Mm -hmm. the, I think it's a, just a knowing mm -hmm. that you're on the earth, on the new earth. Everything stressful falls away. Mm -hmm. It's this life, but better. Okay. So when things happen to you in this new earth, will you be looking at the circumstances in a different way, is that it? Yes. Okay. So, for example, if you break something? You could put it back together. Okay. Good. That's tough. Mm -hmm. It's just things, and you can you just put it back together. Okay. Good. Are people going in waves to the new earth? Some people are already there. Okay. Some people are yet to go. Some people will not go. Okay. And what happens to those people that won't go? They still have lessons to learn. Mm -hmm. And they will repeat, just like Sherry did, mm -hmm. until they can figure it out. Okay. On this new earth, is it something that is a transition? Does it go slowly, or do we wake up one day and say, Oh, gee, everything looks nice. No, it's quick. It's quick. Yeah. Just all of a sudden you realize that you have arrived. Hmm, good. Does it take vibration for you to get there? Yes. Okay, so what is it that you need to, what kind of state do you need to be in? You have to hold the light mm -hmm. and be positive. Sherry needs to quit worrying about chemtrails. Mm hmm. So when someone sees chemtrails, for example, or they hear the evening news about things that they're doing that are not so mm -hmm. nice, how do you hold your light when you're in that situation? You have to focus on the positive. Mm -hmm. Shut the news off. It's a little more difficult, and this is what Sherry focuses on when you see it in your skies. And that's actually why she sees it, because mm. she does shut the news off. Mm. So we're still trying to teach her. Okay. You can't shut the skies off. Now what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. So what about the constant reminders from people who are the chicken littles that our skies are falling? Yes. What do you do about being in a situation where 
all of your quote unquote friends are talking about things that maybe you don't resonate with. How do you handle that? You have to dismiss them, accept them for who they are and where they are in life. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to get into into the same state that they're in. Mm -hmm. They can still be your friends, but you don't need to. You don't have to believe as they do or worry like they do. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that you have to hold the light. That's the most important thing we all can do. Mm -hmm. Now she questions about her family, her friends, people who are not on the same vibration. Mm -hmm. Will they be on the new earth? If they're vibrationally in alignment with it, they will. Mm -hmm. If they're not, they will not. So what happens to all those people? Are they out of our reality or do we create substitutes for them on the new earth? For the ones that are very low in vibration, they disappear. Mm. For the ones that are higher in vibration, there's multiple versions of them. Okay. So, there's a version of them that will continue to live in the lower vibration on the old earth. But if they're close enough in vibration and they can continue to grow, they will come with us. Mm -hmm. Will people ever backslide into the old ways and get kicked off the new earth? This is the versioning that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. If they should backslide mm -hmm. or if it's about choice. They have choice. Mm -hmm. If they choose to resonate with the lower vibration, they will disappear from the new earth and mm -hmm. from the person's life on the new earth. Mm -hmm. And they will continue to have a life on the old earth. But for the most part, You learn, and it feels so much better to be on the new earth. It, that there's people, for the most part, will not do that. Mm -hmm. They're going to like it where they're going. And they're going to want to stay there. It'll feel good. Oh yes. Will it be kind of contagious to where if somebody is happy, mm -hmm. you realize it's nice to be happy mm -hmm. around them? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. I've noticed it in my own life that. For example, we have a neighborhood that has very, very friendly neighbors. We all help each other. Mm -hmm. And whether or not there's crazy stuff going on around us, we still enjoy our own little right. world. It does not affect you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like what it's like to hold that light. That's right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Now Sherry has heard the word or the term bridge come up in mm -hmm. her thoughts and dreams. And she's had this question for many years. Is she supposed to somehow be a bridge between yes. this world and the new earth? Yes, she's gapping. Mm -hmm. How does she do that? It's so simple. She thinks it's a big thing, but mm -hmm. it's holding the light. Holding the light. And teaching people, which she already does. Mm -hmm. She teaches by example. Mm -hmm. And people that are receptive that ask her questions. She teaches them. It, it, it's a time to teach them when they seek her out. And she does do that. Mm -hmm. So She will be able to help as energies speed, mm -hmm. as things speed up, and we're closer to going to the new earth in mass. Mm -hmm. She's going to become a lot more active in this area and be able to help a lot of people to help just to make this transition. Mm -hmm. It'll make it easier on them because they're going to be confused. Reality is changing. And people, some people 
are seeing it now. Some people are still completely oblivious. Mm -hmm. But there will be oblivious people that wake up suddenly, mm -hmm. and they're going to feel confused. And Sherry is one of the ones to hold that light for them and show them the way. And just because they're oblivious now does not mean that they can't, that they, they don't have a chance. They do. Mm -hmm. It will just happen quickly for them. Just... Now, I notice that a lot of people are awakening now to spirituality, yes. to metaphysics. Mm -hmm. What's causing this awakening? The earth is changing. Gaia is... She's increasing her own vibration. She's making her own way. Mm -hmm. The energies are changing. And we have a choice. Go with her or go to a different version of her. Mm -hmm. So the lower vibrational people are going to still need to be on the old earth. And yes, learn. They, they will not mm -hmm. resonate with the new earth. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be able to live on a new earth. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. <gasps> Welcome back. Wow, thank you. Did you did great. Wow. Let me switch these for some grounding sure. stones. So, how long do you feel you were on this journey? Mm. About an hour. Mm. We're on an hour and 40 minutes right now. 40 minutes? An hour and 40? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. What do you remember? Wow. I think pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. You went through yeah. some, some lives there. Yeah. Huh? Do you remember those lives? I do. How do you feel about it? I do. Them? I like the professor. Mm -hmm. He finally uh, got his act together. Right? <laughs> he was a good guy. <laughs> like, of I was lives. like, hey, finally. He yes, he understood what he had to do. Yes. And now, yeah. do you? I do. Mm -hmm. You think you finally got the message? Yeah. yeah. So do yeah. you think it was worth it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was good. Oh, that was awesome. So is this then, something that you want to keep personal or you want to share this? Um, it's up to you. I think I want to watch it yeah. first, if you if don't you mind. If you feel that you want to keep it personal, let's okay. keep it personal. Okay. I don't even question it. All right. I, let me watch it. I don't know if there's anything... If there's things that are helpful to other people, then I'm happy to share that part. You went through and four past lives, and basically you're, you were told about the new earth. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we could do if you wanted to, if you feel uncomfortable about anything health-related, mm -hmm. we can just show the past lives and the new earth stuff, okay. and that's it. Okay. You know? Yeah. Because the new Good. earth is very uh, informative. That's what I really... I'm always so curious about, mm -hmm. like, what is going on there, and yeah, and you, know, and you got a really good explanation of what happens with people who aren't aren't on board mm -hmm. and are on board, and yes, I feel so. There's so much clarity about that now, and yeah, and not to worry. You know, there's have nothing to worry. to worry about. No, there's it, nothing. It's to like worry a about. camping trip. You'll yes. be, yeah, you'll be a little inconvenienced. Yeah. you know, I don't sometimes. get to shower that day, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you.